Hello and welcome to Lassifen Barbecue. Today we're making lamb stew. Yeah, I know, I've probably done it a couple of times before, but um, I found these um, kind of mishmash pieces uh, from uh, back and belly and whatever, and it was really cheap, so I thought I was just gonna do a wok stew or a wok stew on my kettle. So let me show you how okay, we do so that. We need to get this show on the road because it's starting to rain. I've got um, three packets of um, thinly sliced bacon here and uh, that is uh, about one pound so I'm going to start off with that just to, to get the uh, wok fatty enough for the, uh, the cooking process so we'll start there this is just gonna be in there so we'll put that on there and then we continue with the rest of the stuff we're going to be using four onions. Start browning the meat a little bit. I'm just going to put this along the edges. As you can see, these are all types of pieces. I have no idea where they come from on the lamb, but I'm just going to run them as they are. This dish is in the end. I'm gonna have to strain away some of the fat, I guess, because it, this has got fat on it, but that will also make for a good stew. So this will just be lying here while I chop the rest of the stuff up. Yeah. We're gonna be using six cloves of garlic. I guess everyone knows this by now, but I remember when I was young and I figured out you could press a garlic clove to get the skin off. I was amazed. There we go. Just gonna chop this a little bit. My dog wants them, can't have them. They're dangerous. That's good enough. We need a couple of carrots. I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna take a big one. And a small one, these are rather big. You can buy these more or less everywhere. I know they have them at Ikea. They're really good, Swedish, and when Swedish invention. So that would of course mean that they are good, I would say at least. A Couple of pieces just like that. They don't have to be super small, they're going to boil tender and give some taste and they're not going to be used in the end product. I don't think, I haven't decided yet, we'll figure that out as we go along during the day. Something like that. And in they go. I got two more things to put in there. A couple of tomatoes. Same thing there quarter them or eighth them. There we go. And then um, from yesterday when I made the jalapeno popper challenge, I've got three jalapenos left. So I figured why not? Seeds and all. There we go. It's gonna get an even nice flavor to this I'm sure. I'm going to throw two stock cubes in there. These are vegetable stock. You can use whichever type you like. And then for the end product, there's two quarters, two quarts of water. And there we go. So fire is going below. During the day, I'm going to try keeping this at a simmer, maybe a low boil, but preferably a simmer. And then uh, I'm gonna have to add water throughout the day, but that's okay. I can live with that. Gonna leave that on for a little bit longer. Let's look at this one. 
Ah, looks okay. This when we take them. Something like so. This one looks okay. In it goes. I'm gonna close down the lid on this now. Anyway, so we're gonna let that simmer and uh, I'll meet you in uh, five hours or so. Okay, so it's three hours in. I uh, add a little bit more charcoal because um, it was kind of only burning on one side. Um, it has reduced a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I want this to boil until it's extremely tender. So that's another quart of water. See in a bit. Okay, so it's been almost four and a half hours and we're running at 340 or something like that. That looks really nice. Time to strain this and I need both okay, hands. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna let this strain. Uh, I'm gonna pick the meat out of this. I have to do that inside. So this has been boiling for so long, it's literally falling apart. So now I just need to remove all the fat and connective tissue that I don't want in, in the soup. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, so I've gotten all the meat out there and I'm just gonna press carrots and all the other stuff through here. Whatever lands in the soup is good, the rest is gonna go. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Some soup, some meat, a lot of debris. That of course goes, this is gonna go in there after I prep the soup more. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so after a slight family vote, uh, we decided that we we're gonna have this today. So I have to sift off the fat without having it cool down first. But I think that's gonna work out okay. It's just a top layer. Okay, there we go. Uh, most of it's gone and the rest, it's not gonna matter. Now I'm gonna add, these are actually frozen blocks of mushrooms that I, wild mushrooms that I picked. I'm gonna add them first, let them thaw in the sauce. Once they thawed, we're gonna add a, two cups of half and half cream and then add the meat back and then it's time to eat. There we go, fully dissolved, cream in. I'm gonna give that a stir and bring it to a boil again. It's gonna be pretty quick, I think. All right, so it's all warm. Time to add the meat in here. And then of course, let it get warm again. Should only take a minute or so. We'll give that a stir. Time to plate this. A little bit of time on the top. And we should be good to go. There we go. Uh, all they cook in the Weber kettle. Lamb stew this time as well. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. That's got a lot of flavor. You can taste the garlic and um, other spices. Um, I think the lamb is not uh, over muttony. Um, it's just really, really nice. Um, I think all the flavors work well together and uh, the soup is such. It's really nice. The meat is extremely tender as you can see, but like with any slow and low and slow, it's yeah, it's gonna be that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.